I want to give you guys a head start on some things here. Um, I want us to keep an eye this morning on BA, all right? That's Boeing um, indicated to gap down this morning here, guys. Let me get my, my Epic pin up here. If I can, I want to show you this. So BA is indicated to open down this morning. Um, they, had a, they, had, they had somewhat of a crash or something like that. And it's looking like right now it's trading at 211 and change. So that's really well below we're here. See that black arrow there. So it looks like we're going to open in this area. All right. Um, we're going to see off the open whether or not this sort of bounces up first or gives us a, a negative showing here right off the open that potentially can lead to you know, a quick little pop to the downside. So we're going we're gonna to watch this one um, right off the open, okay? Um, UAL doesn't seem to have been affected by this much um, at all. In fact, they're gapping to the upside, which is really interesting. But let's keep an eye on both, all right? Uh, UAL is gapping up, and BA, Boeing, the makers of their planes are gapping down. Um, so let's just keep an eye on both of those in addition to all of our other regular things. All right. Hey, yeah, so the airlines are up. That's It's a tiny bit strange to me, but hey. All right. So we we're 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 looking at um, a somewhat of a negative opening, but I'm always telling you guys, look, just because the market may open down doesn't necessarily mean that it's a short morning. We need the first two and sometimes the first five minutes to go by in order to get a proper feel of what the path of least resistance is. Sometimes your market opens down and it's a quick snap back to the upside that, that's very powerful. And sometimes the reverse. Sometimes it opens up higher and then crashes. So you can't, I don't want you going into the open leaning to one side or the other. You know, I'm always telling you that. All right. We go into the open neutral and we let the first two minutes or so. And sometimes as long as the first five minutes go by to get that proper feel of things. I'm all, I've always constantly told you that the first two minutes, right? Um, Glenn, yeah, I, I, I'm always telling you that the first two minutes, right, is um, very tricky. And sometimes the activity is not true. So Apple's gap down here, as you can see. We're going to keep an eye on Apple. All right, we're going to watch that. It's too early to act now. You see what I'm saying? You see that powerful move to the upside there? Guys, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, my God. All right, you see that? Now, there's resistance up here. I want to see how... The resistance with this 200 period moving average thing works. Boom. Let's just see. I'm curious. You see how that acts. Um, I want you to keep an eye out on an eye on. The BA. Now Glenn is saying, um, Glenn is saying, Oliver, isn't BA? Uh, isn't BA in the $250 range a little too expensive for our $50,000 account? Yes, but I also have other levels of traders here that can trade it. So I'm not just speaking to my traders with 50000 So I have some traders with a half a million. I have some traders with a million. I have some traders with two million. So those traders can trade those levels, all right? But that's why, you know, you want... 
uh, UAL. Remember the UAL. All right. So this is gapped up. So we're above all of your items here. Okay. Now, as long as this is a potential buy above the high, if it's a strong breakout above the high, you're in positive territory. You're above uh, the prior day's data here. Guys, um, let me go back to my Apple. I want to show you something here. Now, remember I was telling you the, re the resistance, right? Take a look at my play. You see that? I'm already up $1,700 in the Apple short here, but I don't want to hold on to this very, very much here. It's too powerful for me to expect a whole lot here. Um, one more left, boom, out. So there's a, there's a, so basically, guys, what I did here was, I, when this was moving up, I just had orders for short right into the 200. As I was telling you, here's your resistance, all right? That's your resistance zone, okay? I was saying, I was telling you, watch this area here. I want to see how it performs. And so I just put orders in now. Now, I know a lot of you aren't ready for placing advanced orders. So those who aren't ready for that, you're going to short the, you, you can potentially short the elimination of a portion of the green okay that's still dropping maybe i got out a little too early here but um the playing off these support nice jr 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 took the apple as well nice nice guys boom apple love it so jr did you play that the same way i did did you did you have the orders up there and let Apple move into your short orders? Did you do it like that? Beautiful. I teach my traders so well. I love it. I love it. Um, did I did we lose the guys? Is everything uh, are the charts okay? Can you see the charts? Do I have everything showing? Okay. Sh sh Charts are showing, so it's probably on your end if you don't see the charts, traders. All right. But wow, I got out early. I was actually I was not expecting a drop like this because normally when you get a powerful bar like that, guys, um, normally when you get a powerful bar like that, the drop doesn't drop very far. But in this case, wow. So guys, what I'll look for, if Apple bounces back up into this redness, you see the, 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 the power red bar? I'm going to look to short Apple again, all right? So if, if we were to bounce back up into this area, I might, depending upon how it bounced, I might look to short again for another drop to the downside. So we'll see how that, that happens. But but guys, um, what about the UAL? What did that do here? Let's see. I had to leave it. Okay, so we never broke above the high of bar one. So no buy. That would have been a buy. But or I could, if I do it with a different color here, this would have been a buy above the high. But no buy. Now, you can potentially look for a possible buy on the pullback, remember, this is your yesterday's or the prior day's price data. That will often serve as some form of support. And as you can see, we come right down, boing, and start bouncing back up off of that support. All right. Let's check a few other things here. What's, um, what's the BA doing? The BA snapped back. To the upside here again we still have this resistance zone here and you don't want to take a look at twitter what's twitter doing today mm, 
little tricky here. Twitter is stuck in the trap zone. So here's your 200. Here's yesterday's or the prior day's data. And we're in between the ceiling and the floor. So you want to be careful with plays in, in the trap zone. The best plays are outside of the trap zone. The best plays are here and there. All right? It's the best plays. Um, what else here? AMD. Someone's asking about AMD here. Um, all right. So look, there's two ways to play this. Now, no, so we're here. We're under the what we call the fabulous four, right? You guys know that. I teach you the fabulous four. Now, you see these lows? If we break to a new low, it's a short. You're going to bet to the downside. But if we take out this red bar very powerfully, it's a potential long with the idea that it can go back toward the resistance. But it really depends on how this red bar is taken out. If it's taking out, taken out powerfully, it's a buy. And what do I mean by that? We don't, if it creeps up there like this, boom, 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 that's not taking it out powerfully. I mean, boom, like one solid powerful bar, that would be a buy. But it looks like it's weakening here and the break below the low would be a short. All right? If you want to try that, I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. And um, you could, you could listen. You could keep your your you you can keep your possible loss on the play tight. So there's three stop options on this play. All right. The Ultimate stop is if you break above this red bar, then you would just exit the trade and take your loss and move on. It's part of trading. Guys, losses are part of trading. You're going to have losses. You will never be able to eliminate them. The thing is that you want to lose correctly. This would be a correct loss. If that's a little too uncomfortable for you, you can drop it to this tail. That saves you a little bit more. All right. But if you really wanted a super tight stop, you drop it. If you were to short here, you drop it right above the bars high. Now, this is not ideal because nothing's really still wrong with that. You're really wrong up here. But there might be a scenario where you need to keep the loss really tight. All right. All right. So that's the AMD. What else are you guys doing? Irene's playing C. All right, beautiful, beautiful move off this, off the uh, open this morning. I love this. Um, Irene, did you get in above bar one? Is that how you got in above bar one? Guys, let me just see if I can show. Let me see if I can do this without us being disconnected here, guys. Sometimes when I expand this, we do get, uh, give me a second, give me a second here. Sometimes when I expand this, we get disconnected. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case today. Let's just see. I don't know if this is going to be the case here today. Let's hope not. Let's hope. Hope I can get by with this. Fingers crossed. Putting the screen back up. Boom. All right, guys, look, if I get disconnected, because sometimes when I expand the screen like this, it's too much for the bandwidth and we might get disconnected. Just stay put. I'll be right back on. All right. Just so you know. All right. But you got the screen now. Is everything okay? All right, cool. Irene, you took the, how did you play the C this morning? 
Did you play above the green, above the high of the first bar? How did you play it? 6606. All right, cool. 6606. So you got in above the high. All right, I'm assuming you're protecting yourself below the low. You're not going to lose more than one bar. Okay. Um, did you take some profits on this move to the upside? Beautiful. Like, so did you go in with two lots and take off one lot? That's a perfect profit take there. Very proud of you, Irene. Beautiful. All right, so did you take it all off there or did you take part of your trade off on the profit taking move up there? Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an aristocrat here. Irene's playing like a pro. All right, so Irene, you took, how many lots did you take on the C here? How many lots? You took one lot, you added here on the hidden RBI. Irene, that's very, if that's what you did, that's very fancy. Mmm, very fancy. <laughs> I love it. Boom. And then profit take here. But how much did you profit take, though? All right, so, all right, so you went in two lots, added one lot. How many stop under bar one? And what profit take here, but how many profit take? Uh, I'm, you're probably in the trade, and I'm asking you questions, and you're typing at the same time, right? <laughs> but I love it. Guys, I want you to understand, especially those of you who are new, traders, if, it, if it's not a scalp trade, right which is what i did with apple today all right if it's not a scalp trade you want to try to add to the play if you're playing the play to be more than a scalp trade all right so what you're really trying to get is that so you want to buy add somewhere take profits and then let the stock let the stock fall back. So see, this is what Irene did. She bought, added to one stop, stop. So two, one, stop. Okay. Profit take. Profit take. Let the stock pull back on you. Let the stock pull back. And then hope for the secondary move and that's exactly what c seems to be doing right now but the key guys here is that once you take the profit so once you take some profits you move your stop to break even so that on the rest you can't lose money you'll just you'll gain this profit but you'll break even on the remainder of your position all right. Does that make sense? So what you can do, guys, look, here's how, what you assume. You assume that you, bought, you buy two lots, stop, add one, and then you take one or two, whichever one you want to take. So in your mind, if you take two, you have this one left. So then you would move your break even to the one. You understand? So see, what we're always after is that. That's what we're always after. That's called the whale. All right? So here's, this, here's the formula again. You buy, you add, you take, your stop is here. Once you take you move your stop to break even. 
all right? And then you let the stock pull back on you. This is your stop that's protecting you. And then you want this move to occur. But sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's why the stop is moved here. So in the case that you it doesn't and you get stopped out, the remaining is a zero play, but you still have the winning portion of the play. All right? And so out of 10 plays, maybe you get seven that go and three that don't go, all right? So what I mean by that is this one looks like it's going, so that's going to be one of these. But if it fails and stops you out at break even, that's going to be one of these. And it just becomes a numbers game after that, all right? But great play, I like it. All right, so what you also want to do is if this pullback is is – um, if this pullback is healthy, you want to do what Irene just did here, all right? She says you want to add. So you want, here's the formula, buy, add, profit take, stop, move stop to break even, and then new high, profit take. Boom. So up here. Irene will take profits, right? And that's, the, that's, that's that formula. It's the same formula over and over again, guys. Look, boom, boom, buy, add, profit take, stop, move, stop to break even, add, profit take. Does that make sense? That's beautiful, right? That makes sense? You guys got it? Well complete. Great job, Irene. Great job. I love it. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Now, Let's go to the next thing. Now, you see how C has come up back toward the high. And remember, we moved our stop from here to break even. Well, now Irene needs to move the stop to the pivot. So once you move back toward the high, you raise your stop now. So now you, you're going to get stopped out with a profit. But we're hoping... You don't have to use that, and we're hoping that you can take profits up there in new high territory. Now, Irene, do, is your order already there, right under 67 to take profits? It should be right there. And it should you should get it there. <laughs> you should get it there right under 67. All right. All right. And guys, you know, you use those hotkeys. Get your orders in the market in advance. That's what JR and I did with, with Apple today, getting the orders up near the ceiling. Oh, my God, this bad drawing. Getting the orders up in the ceiling area before it gets there boom All right same thing taking profits if you were buying apple here you want to have your sell orders up there near the ceiling before the stock gets there boom 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 out okay That's the highest level of professional executions when the orders are there before the stock gets there. 
And there you played the you played Ender the and there you played the Apple the same way, but which way? Did you buy it first or did you short on the way up as JR and I did? Awesome. Okay. Teaching my traders well. I love it. I love it. My little babies. Cuckoo Gaga. Little babies. Cuckoo Gaga. Ah, it's a bitch. Got it. Bitch. My baby. All right. All right. What else is going on here? Oh, we've got uh, gold on the move today. Guys, look at Oracle. Look, you have Oracle producing somewhat similar to what C is producing. Remember, this is what you're after. Don't don't ever forget that. We're always after. If it's not a scalp trade, and that's something I should explain as well. This is not a scalp trade going for this. Now, this move is made up of three parts, right? Part one, the initial move. Part two, the pullback. And part three, the new high, right? So one, two, three. And once you get that, your morning is over. You're done for the day if you want to. Once you get, I call this the whale. Once you get the whale, you're done. A whale can be $300. If you're at a certain level, it can be $800. It can be $3,000, depending upon the size of your account, right? So the idea is to get the whale. And the whale usually forms inside of the first 20 minutes sometimes as much as 30 minutes all right so we are um heading to a whale complete in oracle right now that's when you're not scalping okay what's the difference between hunting for a whale and hunting or grabbing a scalp. And I think knowing the distinctions are important, knowing when something's a, a scalp and when something's more of a trade for the whale. A scalp will, will normally be, in a scenario when you are fighting position, so let's say, for instance, a trader wanted to try a short there because they say, look, I'm up one, two, three, four, five, six green bars in a row. Now this red bar is eliminating the green portion, right? So, but you're in positive territory, see, because you're above the moving averages and you're above yesterday's data so you are fighting power not only are you in positive territory what's immediately to the left of you is strength right so what's immediately to the left is strength so you're fighting position and you're fighting strength it would not be wise if you're going to try this short to be trying to get a whale. This is a scalp. This is get in quickly if you want to try this. Get in and get out. Scalp. Boom. But scalpers will play size. So because the move is going to be small, they play the play bigger to compensate for the smallness of the move they expect, but their stop is very tight. See, So that's the trade, the scalp trade. Scalps are usually when you fight 
power or fight position. Now, let's go back to my Apple trade and JR's Apple trade too because he did the same thing that I, that I was doing. Um, so I'm shorting this up here. So Apple is moving up, and, and I said, okay, I'm going to throw orders in the area of the ceiling. Okay? It moves up, boom, 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 boom. But here's the thing, guys. I'm short in this area. Okay? But look at to the immediate left of me is power. And as I told you, usually when there's power to the left, you drop, but you drop a small amount and then rock it back up. In this case, Apple didn't. It fell all the way. I wish I had a crystal ball, but I just know what normally happens when power is to the left of your red. Here's your red, but you got power green to the left. The red is temporary usually, right? So that's why I scalped this, boom, and out, versus trying to get something bigger. I wish. Does that make sense? When power is to my left, I scalp. If power is not to my left, I go for the whale. Does this make sense? Make sense? All right. Let's look at a scenario where power is not to your left. Let me see if I can. Remember the oracle, okay? Uh, repeat the last line, please. Uh, Carmen, it's simple. If power is to my, if the, if opposing power is to my left, I don't go for the whale. I scalp it. If power is to my left. So here's a scenario where, look, I got a drop in the stock. And then and I go short here. What's to my left is helping me. So I'm going to go for the whale in this one. Because what's to my left is also bad. I'm betting on bad. What's to my left is bad. If I'm betting on bad and what's to my left is good, you see, if I'm betting on bad and what's to my left is good, it's a scalp. It's not going for the whale, you see. That's the that would be the whale. This just one move is the scalp. So think of whales like this. Whales to the upside are this, and whales to the downside are this. You see what I'm saying? So if I'm scalping, I'm only gonna go for the one leg. I'm only going to go for the one leg if I'm scalping. If I'm going for the whale, I'm going to go for all three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the, one of the keys is what's to my left? If I'm betting down here, what's to the left of it is green. You see? To give you a different take on this, what if we erase this? And what's to the left of this is this. So now I'm going to short. I should do that with a smaller. I'm going to short here, right? But what's to the left of the bar I'm shorting? 
another negative bar. This is helping me, you see? So now I'm going to go for the whale. Traders, do you understand that? Judging scalp versus whale based on what's to the left of you? All right. Julie says she, Julie says she got a whale on U, UAL. Let's take a look at it. Beautiful. All right, Julie, walk us through this trade. I love it. Walk us through. What did you do? Talk to us. You still in? All right. What I do see is, okay, let's grab the data from the prior day. And let's grab that 200. So you got your support area here, right? Now, we start in positive territory. That's right. Julie's saying positive territory, tail bar, bottoming tail bar. You're ignoring the red because you're in positive territory. You pretend like that's not happening. And you waiting for a bullish sign, right? Boom, we get the bottoming tail bar. Beautiful. I taught the traders this weekend the bottoming tail bar. All right, buy. Stop under the tail. How many lots? One lot. Did you take profits up here? Oh, see, she's in separate. Uh, add one lot on the hidden RBI. Mm, and a, another aristocrat here. Oh, I love that. Here's your hidden RBI. That's very fancy trading there. I love it, though, Holy. Boom. Another ad. Okay. Loving it. I know. I see you. <laughs> she's saying, wait, because she's got to get out of the trade now. <laughs> I love it. All right, so bottoming tail bar, boom, one stop. Add on the hidden RBI, boom, another one. I'm assuming you really profit taking of some sort on that pop there, no? Then add, yep, perfect, perfect. So profit take, boom. Raise stop to break even. There's the formula, right? Add, yes, wait for pullback, beautiful. Add one lot here, boom. Just like I taught, teach you guys, this is picture perfect. Stop adjustment under the pivot, remember that? Boom. And here's the new high. Did you take anything on that pop up there? Yes. Nice. Profit take. Boom. And you're riding out the rest. Yes. Stop adjustment to the color. There's a color stop adjustment right there. Boom. And she's still in. I love this. This, traders, is method trading. This is systematic trading. This is not guessing. This is not winging it. This is not 
feelings. This is not beliefs. This is just a plan. Territory. More than one bar. All right, take profits, move stop to break even. Even boom, boom, profit. Tight. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, that's masterful trading. Let's get it. All right. Who else had who else had a nice play today? And Julie, this is still running for you. I love it. Yeah, Alexander, what did you do? What did you do, Alexander? What did you do? XOM. Let's take a look. <laughs> I love this. Look, guys, look at let, let's grab the support range. Yesterday's data or the previous day's data, the 200. Look at that position. Guys, I was explaining to the traders this weekend, position is everything. Just like real estate. Location, location, location. Location is everything. Look at this beautiful elephant plus bar in the perfect location. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. I love it. Beautiful. Guys, I had internet connectivity issues this morning. So I was afraid to, uh, I was going to have a lot of disconnections today, but everything seems okay. Even with the expanded screen, awesome. Um, Elephant Bar Plus, positive position, entry 52.88. Let's see where 52.88 is. Oh, this is so beautiful. Just where my arrow is. Now, guys, I drew the arrow. Arrow there first. Missed entry. The entry that Alexander did was perfect in the bar. Don't wait in the bar. Beautiful. Stop is max. So his stop is under the support because under the bar in this case gets you out right in the support net, right? So we don't a bit more than the bar. When your stop is going to take you out is going to get you out of the help area. This is the help area. We don't want to get out in the help area. All right? So excellent so far. So we got the stop under the support. Okay. Alexander adds on the hidden RBI. Guys, I, everyone's doing hidden RBIs. Do you know how advanced that is? That's crazy. I love it. You guys make me so proud. So we how many you did two? Two lots on the hit I'll forget. And guys, look at look at Exxon go for the whale. Look at Exxon go for the whale up here. Remember the whale. That's the whale. It's going for the whale. Okay? We 
We want whales. We're whale hunters. Don't forget that. We're whale hunters when it's not a scalp. Okay? All right. Um, above the th oh, not this one. I'm sorry. He I I, I it's hidden RBI. Okay, two lots here. Okay. All right. What's next, Alexander? Alexander. All right, took profits on the next bar. So your orders were up here already, and you took profits up here in this area? What else? How many? You took two lots here. Do you have the same stop down here? Stop adjustment to the most recent big bar, like your profit bar? Okay, stop. Under this big bar, boom. Stop adjustment. What's next? Stop this pivot here. Boom. What else? Took profits. New high. Oh. One lot. Stop adjustment bar by bar and out here. Out. All right. Not bad. Not bad. This is not a bad trade. So, so very quickly, buy, buy in to stop. Stop adjustment here. Okay. Um, and then another stop adjustment there, then profit take, and then out under the green here, boom. That's not bad. No. Not bad at all. You have a re-entry.
It's a nice and really this. This is the first that's a pull back. So So sometimes times when it goes you can take it all here But if it pulls back on you and gives you a nice strong buy you don't want to miss this one all right, because that's the one that can take you to the new high. Um, I'm not quite sure if it is. And so, yeah, look, it did. It got us barely up toward that high. Barely. But you get the point. Anyway. Uh, I'm all not. will ex oh, that rule right there yeah. right. Good. Just all right. Without those pauses, you have far shorter moves. Okay. I just helped you in the trade you're in, Robert. What trade was that? Let me know. Now, someone was asking me earlier. American Express. Okay. okay, beautiful. That's what you're looking for, guys. Someone's asking me, Oliver, for a fifty thousand dollar account. Where should our stop be? What should our maximum loss per trade be? I would say one hundred dollars. And if that's too much, no. I would say yeah, one hundred on the big side. On the low side. I don't like those really, really very, very small stop amounts. I don't like them because you're just going to get stopped out 
a million times if it's too small. So you got to find that happy medium. And so if you have a $60 maximum loss, you can't play a $200 stock. If you've got a $60 maximum loss, you can't play even a $150 stock. You got to play 60 and under. Like you can use your stop amount as a guide. If you've got an $80 stop, okay, 80 and under. Stocks $80 and under. If you've got a $60 stock, the majority of your trade should be $60 stocks and under. Now, Julie says she does a $70 stop, which she's found that works perfectly with the $50,000 account. And I like that number. I like that number. It's kind of in between um, the big and the small one. But be careful not to go too far below. Now, that doesn't mean I'm talking about maximum loss. Remember, we have two losses, right? We got the maximum, and then we have the technical loss. A technical loss can be small. So let me give you an example of that. You see this red bar here? Eye of that red bar. And your stop can be right below the red bar. So here's your risk. If that risk is $20, then so be it. I am not talking about the technical Stop. See, this is a technical stop. What I'm talking about is your maximum stop. Technicals can be really tiny depending upon the play. Does that make sense, traders? Technical versus maximum? All right. Julie says she's still in UAL. Oh, my God. Julie, you're killing it today. Boom, 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 boom. Guys, give her a hand. This is masterful trading. Give her a hand. Do it now. Do it now. Clap, clap, clap. Awesome. Great job. Great job. AP, talk to me. Talk to me about American Express. How did you play this? Great job, Julie. You guys are trading like masters. This is how it's done, you know? I, how do we play this American Express? Who played this? I forget. Who played this? This session is helpful? Well, I'm glad. All sessions should be helpful. That's my job. Um, entered at 132.48 into the big bar, two lots. All right, so 48 about right there. So Robert comes into the elephant bar. See, that's what I like, getting in the bar. That's a clearing power bar. Where's your stop? 131.25. All right, so we're under the bar, I presume, or more or less. Okay. What's next? What's next, Robert? I'm wait, we're waiting. Add it, add it. One thirty-two, 
but what do you you got to tell me what you're adding on name the item that you're adding on don't just give me the price what are you adding on why are you adding Is it the pullback? Oh, you're in the trade at the same time. Guys, don't mention anything if you're still in the trade and you don't want to get called on. But guys, you can see, Robert, you can cont continue the trade. No, don't worry. Do, do your thing. So here's the buy. Boom. Here's your stop. Here's the pullback. Here's your buy on the pullback. Green takes out red right there. All right. This pops. You move your stop to the pivot okay you can add again above that red bar profit take and let the rest ride how do you let the rest ride guys you tell me how do you ride this whole once you take some off the table here on the new high what do you which moving moving average yes which one should i use which one you tell me eight period moving average let's do it i'm going to put the eight period moving average up here because we've got the 20. Let's put the 8. Let's do that here. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Now sit back and relax. And let the 8 period moving average help you ride this whole thing out. Traders, I, I'm really, truly very proud of you. This is how trading is done. And what you can sense in, in these trades we've covered that, that some of you have done here is you can sense that it's based on method. You see, the vast majority of people out there are just guessing. There's no method. There's nothing that they apply consistently every trade every day. They don't have a method. They don't have an approach. They don't have a strategy. They're just waking up in the morning, guessing, hoping that their gambling today brings about some type of different results from yesterday. But here, you can see the same formula I teach you at work. Boom. Stop. You can take some profits here if it's big enough. Add on the pullback. Boom. Raise your stop to the pivot. Add on the on the green taking out red. Raise your stop to the color. Take profits on the new high. Now let the moving average take care of you. Boom. Repeat, 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 repeat a thousand freaking times. And you're always after the whale. Okay? Always after the whale always after the whale now someone was just asking me this is the last question i'm going to take because i have to move on here but someone was asking me someone was asking me um oliver i'm a bit confused daniel was asking me oliver i'm a bit confused you said that friday all right um you said friday to cut our average loss in half this was my instruction for you to do friday that's right so if I was $70 average loss, you still want us to move it down to 35 On the technicals, yes. So what, that, what Daniel's saying is that what Daniel's talking about, remember on Friday's session, I said one exercise I want you to apply the next week is to find out your average losing trade for the entire week, and then the, your goal next week is to cut that in half. So Daniel's saying that my average loss last week was $70. So if I'm going to cut that in half, I'm going to have losses of 35 Yes. Uh, so what Daniel's saying is that, but you said my losses shouldn't be lower than $60 or so. 
on your maximums, but on your technicals, like if you take this trade here, make sure that loss, if you lose on it, is 35 or less. If you take this green taking out red, make sure this loss, if you're taking this buy on the green taking out red here, make sure this stop out is 35 or less. Do you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? The maximum can be different, but, but the technical stops, you're going to now try to find plays that meet that 50% amount of yet last week's average loss. Daniel, you got it? Make sense? Are you picking, picking up what I'm laying down? Talk to me. Maybe Daniel's not with us, but guys, do the rest of you understand that? You got it? When to use maximum and tech? Well, that's going to that's going back to the basics, Daniel. That's something you should you should know and you should not be forgetting that. You use maximum when you get stopped out at a at a stupid location. Right? So what's a stupid location? Getting stopped out right there at the with right at the 200 period moving average. So if you're buying this bar here, and your bar is right on top of the 200, do not use the bar as your stop. Get under the 200. That's an example. Whenever your technical stop stops you out right at the help right at something trying to help you, you have to go to max, not and leave the technical stop behind. All right, traders, awesome. Great, great trading morning, guys. I'm proud of you. I love the, the your ability to find the right plays. in the right position and i love the ability of riding out like ri like riding this out st still riding this out along the way is very very amazing julie riding the um uh riding the ual out all the way is amazing it's incredible. I love it. All right, traders. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, what I have to do, traders, you are already in the program, as you all know. And some of you have been in the program for a long time. Some of you are still relatively young. But the people that are watching, for the people that are watching today, I have to go over all right, um, the program, because there might be a few individuals willing to join our family. All right, so I hope you don't mind that. I'm going to go over the, the very program that you're part of. All right, I have to do it for the people who are watching us. All right, so you can. And if you're not doing anything, you can listen to the very. Give me just a second. A different screen up. All right. <laughs> and just in case we have some traders that are willing to take the journey that you guys have taken. We're going to give them an opportunity to join us. Julie says, I'm very proud of being part of this amazing family. Who else is 
Who else is proud of being part of this amazing family? This show, let me see. Tell me. I want to see it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Proud of you. All right. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. All right, traders. Well, listen. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you who have taken time out of your morning or your afternoon, wherever you are in the world, to um, peek in on what we do on a daily basis. You know, this is what we do. Uh, uh, we trade together. We um, go over trades together, constantly trying to tweak the method with the traders, correcting certain things, expanding on certain things, and this is an everyday thing. Um, it's an everyday journey, and we do it together. So the program that is the most the, that is the at the core of what we do is called the Self Start Trading Program, traders. And I call it Self Start because it's really, in my opinion, the it's the best and most start the journey toward um, becoming a professional, masterful trader. But there are really two things that make up all, my entire program. It's the self-start and the live trading camp. Now, the live trading camp is something that can be taken together or can be taken later. And that's going to be up to the individual who decides to join our family. You can start off with the self-start program, which gets you the $50,000 trading account. All right? It gets you the payout of 60%, not 40%, as long as you commit in the next 48 hours or so, right? You get 60% of the payout. Now, many traders get only 40% of the payout, but this is the special offer I'm willing to give traders who know how to take an opportunity when they see it right away because that's an important skill in trading. Being able to see a, a beautiful elephant bar in the right position and being able to take it without guessing, without thinking, without hesitating. So I reward people that have that, that intrinsic ability. I see an opportunity. I recognize its opportunity. I'm taking it, and I'm going to reward them with 60% of the gains. I will take the minority partnership in this case. Now, in this self-start program, traders, you're going to be trained every single day in one form or another. You are going to be in a group very much like we were today. You're going to see traders that are better than you, that are far along the path. You're going to see traders that are on the same level as you, but you're going to be mixed in with a very powerful group of traders. And every single day, you're going to be led by a trading leader. This leader is going to guide you through the trading day or the trading morning. This leader is going to show you and reveal to you what trades they're doing and why. Sometimes you're going to take the very same trades that the leader points out, and sometimes you're going to take your own trades. But something typically over time happens through osmosis when you are in a group of traders that have the same goal, that are on the same path, and that you have a very, and, and something happens through osmosis when you have a very talented leader that's making money consistently in front of you virtually every single day. Can't be every day, but almost every day. And this is going on every single day of your life. Now, my attitude is that training and guidance should never stop. As long as you have 
my capital in your hands. You're going to be trained, educated, and guided every single day, and it will never stop. This is for life. The only person who can stop it is you. All right? Now, there is a cost for both these programs, the self-start and the live trading camp. But I want you to understand that the self-start is the core of the program. This is what comes with the $50,000 account. You'll never have to add to this account. You'll never have to put a single penny into that account. This $50,000 can grow to $250,000. 550,000, a million, um, you go up the ladder. It depends on your development, all right? Um, but you will never have to contribute a single penny of your own capital to this. And I have a, this philosophy that traders do better when it's not their capital. Traders are more careful when it's not their capital. All right, the live trading camp is separate. Now, this is where I take you under my wing and I teach you my specialty, which is trading the first 20 minutes of the day. That's my specialty. Guys, this specialty, this 20 minute specialty, is what gave me or earned me my reputation on Wall Street. This is what I became known for, for being the trader that produced the quickest gains right off the open. A lot of traders didn't start trading their day until the first 30 minutes was over. They wanted to see how the market acted the first 20, 30 minutes, and I would be done in 20 minutes. And people began to become amazed at that. And it's actually that skill that kicked off my training career because my firm wanted me to teach my other tr other traders in the firm how to do this. And then other firms wanted me to teach their traders how to do it. And that's when I decided I'm going to leave and start my own advisory company because all of these firms want me to teach their traders. But it was this 20-minute trading skill that earned me that reputation and made me one of the most popular traders at the time in the whole industry. And so I want each and every one of you to have that 20-minute trading skill. And so when you're ready for the live trading camp, I personally take you under my wing to get, get you walking along the journey to become a 20-minute 20 trading, 20 trading master. And so... Both things, the self-start is the funded account program. The live trading camp is the 20-minute specialty. And then after these two, you don't need another single thing. Um, you know, maybe down the line something else, maybe some extra coaching if that's necessary, but this is the core of everything, self-start and live trading camp. Now, there's a cost, right? Everything worthwhile has a cost, traders. You know this. Um, the regular cost is $1,700 for the self-start program, all right? If you want both together, it's deeply discounted for you at $3,000. And if you want to just take the, the self-start and take the live trading camp later, Later, it will be $1,300 in addition to the $1,700. But if you do it all at once, it's $3,000. Now, I know, especially today, that these numbers aren't particularly small to a lot of people. But to some people, they are small. Some traders listening to me right now are looking at this price and saying, are you kidding me? This is nothing. I lost $50,000 last year trying to do this. I lost $100,000 trading over the last several years. This is one, $1,700 is one losing trade, and this is nothing. Now, I know a group of you are, are thinking that, that in the grand scheme of things, $1,700 to never have to put a, a single penny in a trading account, to, to be funded 
to not be responsible for the losses if you decide to quit one day, all the losses are mine. All right? Um, to be trained every single day for the rest of your life if you want. That that cost is very low. But at the same time, I know that some others are saying this is a, a, a pretty health, hefty cost for me. I don't know if I can do it. And for those individuals, I would strongly encourage that you think this way. I want you to give yourself five years to dedicate to this activity called trading. If you can give yourself five years, you're going to dramatically increase the odds that your life will never be the same. And so if you take this $1,700 cost and break it into a monthly cost over five years, what does that become? All right. Do the numbers. We're going to do 300. We're going to do how, 52 weeks times five is 260 weeks. And we're going to take that $1,700 and divide it into 250. All right. Divide it by 250. And you're going to come up with how much money? Like Michelle is saying, it's priceless. Absolutely. So we're going to take 52 weeks times five. Give yourself five years, all right? Look at it almost like it's a university. So we're going to take 52 weeks times five. That's 260 weeks. All right, we're going to take the 1700 and divide it by 260 weeks, and you're going to be paying six dollars and 53 cents a week. And you have to ask yourself do you think that you will get to a place where you can make more than $6.53 a week. You've seen traders right here in our room today pull off some amazing trades. If you're truly dedicated, if you put the work in, if you're willing to do this sincerely, you will get to a place where $6.53 a week is easily overcome. And that's how I encourage that you look at this. You break it down into digestible periods and see if, it, the, if you believe the value is worth $6.53 a week. But it gets even better, traders. I'm going to actually drop the price for for you here. And so that $6.53 gets even smaller. That's your risk here, traders. Your risk is less than $5 a week to potentially change the rest of your life that can give you a level of freedom and independence that only trading can do. For less than $5 a week, you're going to be fully funded and trained every single day. And once you graduate, if you graduate, you're going to get 60% of the gains. Not 40, but 60% of the gains. But first, get this. All right? If those of you who are ready and you're willing to commit in the next 48 hours, I'm going to reward you even further because that's an important skill for me. That's an important ability for me. In the next 48 hours, if you hit the buy button, all right, same way you do in trading, I'm going to drop the price further. It's $1,300. Guys, it's one trade. You can make $1,300 in a day, in an hour, in a week, in a month. This is for life.
one fee for life. It's crazy. Every single day with 60% of the gains. Now, in addition to this, I'm going to make this refundable for you, which means that you're going to first, when you graduate, get 100% of the gains until you get all of your costs back. Every penny you put in, I want you to get that back first. So I'm going to stay out of your profits. I'm going to give you all the profits until you make this program absolutely free. Once you have re regained or recaptured every single penny you've put into this program, that's when I then come into the equation and we become partners. You get 60%, I take 40%. Now that's being as fair as I possibly can. Your upfront cost helps me pay for staff. It helps me pay for the people that are going to train you because they will not do it for free. I'm sorry, they just won't, all right? It will help me pay for the technology that we use, the bandwidth and all the, the, the support and all the things that go along while you are developing your skill. This is a business. I wish I could do it for free, but I can't. But in a sense, it is free. If you do the right thing, if you can get to that place where you graduate, if you can follow the red and green bars, if you can follow the two moving averages, the 20 and the 200, if you can locate the best locations above the FAB4, below the FAB4, if you can do the right things consistently, you will at one point graduate. Once you graduate, you, your, your first goal is to graduate. Your second goal is to get your money back. The third goal is to make us a fortune. <laughs> and those are the three steps. Get yourself trained here every day. Graduate. That's goal one. Two, get 100% of the gains until you get all of your, your investment back. And then, let's do this in the biggest way possible and let's go make a fortune together. So if you were to try to do this you're on your own, traders, you're going to need a minimum of $25,000 to day trade. This is the law. If your account falls one penny below $25,000, you can't day trade. So you really have to start with something like 30000 to give yourself room to lose. And let me tell you something. You will lose first. It's just the way this works. You go down first before you go up. This is why traders who really want to do this seriously should never start with their own money. No one on Wall Street starts with their own capital. No one's trading their own money exclusively. They're trading firm capital. Even traders in a hedge fund are trading investors' money. They're not trading their own capital. Why? Because traders are better when they don't trade their own capital. Traders gain access to more than the money that they have. All right? So... Do it yourself, you're going to need a lot more than this. You're going to need $30,000 at a minimum. And you're going to lose more than this, guaranteed, because the first move is always down, always before up. So this is the least expensive way to take your journey toward trading mastery. All right? And let me just tell you this. You can't learn how to do this watching YouTube videos, not even mine. They can help, but you can't get to the finish line watching YouTube videos. You can't learn how to trade reading a book. I wish. Not even my books. These are things that help, 
but there are things that help in the locker room traders. There's, to use a sports analogy, you prepare for the real thing in the locker room. You watch videos of previous games. You go over the plays and the strategy, but that is not playing the game. Videos can help, books can help, but that's locker room prep preparation. When you go out on the field and do it for real, it's a completely different thing. And the best way to learn this is to be trading with professionals and with your peers and to have other peers better than you and to have other peers not as good as you and have other peers equal to you. That environment is a growth environment and that's what you get here. And you can grow without the added pressure of losing your own capital. And this holds back so many people because they're using money that they need. They're using their kid's college fund or they're using the family's life savings and it's being lost every single day. And the added pressure of that is blocks any possibility of success. We're going to put that aside. We're going to take away the money problem. I've got the money for you. We're going to take away the training and education problem. You're going to be trained and guided every single day. We're going to do this, all right, the right way. All right? Now, this is your one-time training fee. There is a daily fee that every professional trader has to, play, has, has to pay, no matter where you are, traders. We don't use, you're going to have to pay a professional trading platform fee. Every professional trader in the entire world pays this. We're not talking about retail traders now. Retail traders at Robinhood or retail tra traders at eToro or eTrade or TradeStation. Retail trading is not professional trading. All right? Retail trading is very in Inferior to professional style trading. Professionals use professional real time level two data and professional platforms that have superior executions. This platform fee is $2.65 a day. Let me just make sure I have that right. All right. Two dollars, no, I have it wrong. It's two dollars and eighty three cents a day. Now, I want you to think about this. This you will potentially get back, okay? So let's take this out of the equation right now. For the rest of your trading career, all right, you have to ask yourself, have you, can you develop the skill to make more than $2.83 a day? Guys, to be in the very best business on planet Earth, your only cost is $2.83 a day. Think about that. You don't have tra transportation costs. You don't have uniform costs. You don't have um, parking. You have no other cost. This is your only cost. This includes data and the platform. Think about it. Think about all the other businesses out there and the cost associated with them, restaurants. That's crazy cost every single day. All right? 
this cost is two dollars and eighty three cents to be in the very best business in the world and to never have to put your own money at risk there's nothing like it guys this is how I started in the business a program very similar to this the only thing for me is that I had a one thousand five hundred dollar cost per month this was my cost to be a professional trader this included my chair, this included the computer I traded on, this com com included the live data that I got through that computer, it in included my execution software, it included everything, but it was $1,500 a month. The cost today this was back in this was back in 1986 okay and then I had to pay travel costs to get to the office and so forth and so on today it's two dollars and eighty three cents I had to trade along a structure very similar to the one you have here I had a maximum drawdown per day just like you do I wish I could have started with something like that. Now, I know this is not for everyone, but there's a group of you listening to me. And this is, this is the opportunity you've been waiting for. Join the family, all right? And let's take this journey the right way together. Let's take it the professional way not the gambler's way. Let's take it with proper guidance, proper education and training every single day. Let's take it with a very detailed method and approach with appropriate strategies. And let's take it with a group of traders. Let's do this with a group of traders, a group of dedicated, passionate traders that will also help you along the way. And you saw some of those traders today. All right, traders, you've got 48 hours to get this price. Let's do it. Once again, I want to thank you for spending your time with us this morning. I know there are many other things that you could be doing with your life. You could be walking your dog in the park. You could be hanging out with your kids. You could be watching your favorite television program, but you're here. And that's not something that I take for granted. And so every time... I'm afforded the opportunity to speak to a group of people. I do my very best to try to leave them with something of value, whether they join the family or not. And I hope I've done that here today. All right, so enjoy the rest of your day. All right, you can <clears throat> contact any one of my members here if you have any further questions regarding the program. And I'm looking forward to a number of you joining our family as for my traders right now all right you continue to amaze me all right keep up the good work trade very well today and you always know i love you to death ciao for now boom get some music here Love it. Love you guys.
Yeah, we'll get you the link as soon.